I'm Bill Mitchell, I'm a clinical psychologist. For the last few years, I've been working closely with Cognita. Many people are talking to me about feelings of guilt at this time. So on this Be Well Wednesday, I'll be exploring guilt, looking at ways by which you can deal with it. Guilt, anxiety, anger are all completely normal emotions which we experience from time to time and they have their uses. If we didn't feel anxious, we would get ourselves into trouble. If we didn't get angry from time to time, we would be quite defenseless. And if we didn't feel guilty occasionally, there wouldn't be a voice reminding us of what we should do. It is only when they become too strong, too powerful, that they create difficulties for us. One of your colleagues has written in to say that she, she talks about being quite a private person, but due to the pressures right now, she felt like speaking out. The greatest struggle for me has been the relentless feeling of guilt. Guilt that I'm a great educator, yet my own children's education has suffered significantly. And it's not just their education that has been totally compromised, it's their well-being and connectedness to me too. This has left me in a very strange, uncomfortable and almost resentful place. We've all got more to do than we can do. Right now, we have to be more priority-driven about what really matters. I think you have to try to negotiate with guilt. What would you need to do not to feel guilty in this situation? And inevitably, that means we will need to make a compromise, which we don't like to do, particularly if our standards are very high. But getting to that negotiated compromise with ourselves can allow us to let go of what we can do nothing about and basically make the best of it in really difficult circumstances. I think the biggest challenge that we've really faced in our house as a family has been trying to find the balance between working from home full time and also um, having our two small children at home. One's four and one's 20 months old. So they really aren't old enough to fend for themselves. The guilt you sometimes feel with that because you aren't doing these amazing things that you see all other mums on Instagram and things like that doing. I sort of feel like I'm letting my job down a little bit because I've got to go and do those mum things. So it's been really difficult trying to find the right balance. So something that's really helped me uh, make my way through this a little bit really, and it's gonna sound funny, but just lowering my expectations um, and making sure they're really low. Trying to accept what um, I can't change has been a big thing and I'm still struggling with it a little bit. Essentially, she's talking about thinking about what really matters and letting go of some of her very high standards, being really pragmatic so that she doesn't end up feeling, feeling guilty or feeling that she's failing at both ends. The balancer to high standards is being pragmatic. What do you need to do in the time available? and we need to accept there are many things we just won't be able to get done. Also, we just need to be a bit kinder with ourselves about what we won't be able to do. It's only for now. This is temporary. 